Happy Monday morning. I cannot believe it's Monday already. Not that it matters in this industry. It just seems like one day goes to the next. Doesn't matter if it's Saturday or Sunday. Uh, hope everybody had a great Valentine's Day. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, I, it, it comes so quick after the holidays. Uh, just, just not prepared sometimes. But I was prepared this year. I got some good stuff for the girls. So it was good. It was good. We had a good day. So just a quick tip here, okay? I know it's President's Day. Yes, we are working. We are not a bank. We work. We It's Monday, so so we work. So basically, a quick tip on a gift, okay? Getting a gift from a family member uh, to purchase a house, okay? Let's talk conventional first, okay? The first thing that's needed is a gift letter. That's something that we provide and, and fill out and it has to be signed by you and all, and all that stuff. So that's a step number one. Just a simple fill in the blank type of thing that we send to you to complete then sign and then send back to us. Step number one. Step number two, if it's conventional, okay? Let's say the funds are coming from mom and dad. They, a simple way of doing it, okay, is, is to wire the funds directly to the title company, okay? What that does, that saves paperwork. That saves it going into your account, showing it into your account, getting a printout from that account, and then from that point, using those funds to purchase the house. It takes one step away, okay, with conventional. Makes it a lot easier um, going that way. Now, if somebody's a little bit worried about wiring, then that's the process. Basically, the funds after the gift, you know, gift letter, the funds are, are going to go into your account, and then uh, print out that account showing those funds in there and then so forth. So uh, that's fine too as well. And then taking those funds as a buyer, you can wire them directly to the title company once it's into your account, or you can go to the bank and get a cashier's check, a certified cashier's check, bring it to the closing table, uh, and, then, and then be done with it that way. Okay, now that's conventional. FHA, there's one extra step here. Okay, same thing, gift letter. Okay, funds are coming from a family member. Now, the funds coming from a family member, we have to show those funds. We have to show a certain amount of, of funds in that account, uh, for, you know, going back 30 days. So let's say, let's do the example. Let's say it's mom and dad. So mom and dad have to be, have to provide 30 days of, of, you know, of the statements showing that they have the funds in there. Why? The reason is, is that, you know, this goes back 12, 13 years ago during the last crash, during foreclosures, short sales, and, and so forth. They want to make sure those funds aren't borrowed, um, meaning that there's another loan uh, out there that the that that like mom and dad got, okay, to to provide the gift for the daughter, and so forth. That can affect eventually the daughter paying on the house or or the parents help, you know, basically paying on that loan and so forth. They want to make sure it's their own funds. It's not being borrowed. It's not going to throw a wrench, possibly. And yes, it's a couple of steps down the that you know down the line here. That, that could throw a wrench in, in the daughter or son making those payments, okay, for the mortgage, okay? Believe it or not, it's happening, and that's why they threw that rule up there. So, and that's been in place for a while. So, if it's FHA, if it's a government type of thing, then we have to show those funds in mom and dad's account, okay, as well as the gift letter, okay? They can still wire those funds directly to the title company, okay? Some, some underwriters don't, don't like that, some do. To me, it's just stream, you know, streamlines the process. Once the title company has the funds, whether it's conventional or government type of a loan, they just have to uh, show evidence that they've received that. Okay, um, but basically, that's the pattern. That's the differences between conventional and and you know FHA, VA, and, and you know, the, you know th those differences in in those type of loans, government, you know, versus conventional. Um, Basically, the, the main difference is that mom and dad have to show the assets with like FHA, VA, government type of loans compared to conventional. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Get any questions on that? I know it's early Monday. Uh, just sh uh, shoot me a comment down below uh, or shoot me a Facebook message or text me at 423-262-9229. 423-262-9229. Have a great, great Monday. Have a great week. Talk to you soon.